Look, up in the sky, it's a drone, a tiny unmanned helicopter popping up for everything from fire department to law enforcement support to flower deliveries. But with the skies becoming increasingly crowded with these little guys right here, who's watching out for us down here? You might be surprised to learn right now, nobody is. Now here's something you don't see every day, a miniature helicopter darting across the Detroit sky. It's called a drone. This one is equipped with a camera that Harry Arnold hopes will help firefighters. In a fire situation, they can't really see where they're aiming their hoses. Harry has taken his drone to a number of big fires, like this one at East Ferry and Shane. He hopes to prove its value as an eye in the sky for firefighters. Maybe show them where the trouble is before unsuspecting they walk right into it. The thing that I'm focusing on now in this infancy slash wild west period is the uses that could possibly save lives because those are going to be the uses that people are pretty much going to have a hard time arguing with. But drones are showing up in all kinds of places. This is the demolition of the Brewster Douglas housing project. And that's a drone operated by Detroit multimedia group Hello Innovations, giving us a spectacular look more intimate than even our broadcast helicopter can give. And how about a flower delivery drone? Wesley Berry was trying out the idea in Commerce Township right before Valentine's Day, at least until the FAA grounded them claiming that regulations don't allow for drone deliveries. And by the way, a federal judge last week ruled the FAA has no jurisdiction over drone flights. And there's the problem. Right now, drones over Detroit is kind of a novel idea. There really aren't that many of them. But you can imagine a day when the sky is filled with hundreds of these things. And when that happens, who's watching out for us down below? This is a smaller uh, drone. And, you know, I can say that it could fall and not hurt somebody, but it just depends on the luck of the draw. If it hits the right person in the right spot, you know, anything I, it could, could hurt somebody. So in the Wild West phase of commercial drones, who's going to lay down the law? Well, the FAA, having been shot down here in Detroit, is trying to come up with the rules, regulations, and licensing. At first, Harry Arnold resisted the restrictions. Now... He welcomes them. You take the chance of somebody doing something reckless and getting a lot of bad publicity, which is going to be bad for everybody. And, uh, so you you'd know, rather everybody be licensed, be trained, and yes. if, it's, if things are flying around, everybody knows what everybody's up to. Yes. But know. for now, for an investment of as little as a couple hundred dollars, the sky's the limit. Wow. By the way, in the case of Wesley Berry Flowers, they're grounded again after the FAA got a stay to the judge's order letting them fly. And that case only serves to highlight the confusion surrounding the future of drones over Detroit. Wesley Berry, by the way, joked, thank God the FAA wasn't around before Orville and Wilbur Wright, or there'd be no air travel of any kind. I mean, you would think, what, they'd have to have an office coordinating where the drones go? Well, or? I think they're, they're, they're at least looking at having people trained, make sure that you get a license to fly it, that they know you know how to do it, and you're not going to go flying right into somebody. I think it's mainly the thing, just to make sure that everybody's safe.